Hello to everyone. How you all doing? This is your this my GD speaking here, and welcome to another Empire Total War Let's Play. This time of my sore or me sore. I think I'm gonna be butchering the entirety of this nation's name from the entirety of this freaking Let's Play. After a month long trip uh, to see my significant other, I am now finally back home and I am ready to start another empire let's play here and i have been looking forward to play as misor for the longest time and it made it because of uh, how the actual campaign itself is gonna be i mean misor themselves i mean mysor themselves or misor i think i'm just gonna call him misor just to save my own sanity but whatever misor is uh, a bit of a challenging nation to play and that is mainly because, well, we are on the Indian continent, and what the heck is on the Indian continent? Yeah, that's right, the Morafa Confederacy. And we all know what the heck the Morafas does to Misor and the Mughal Empire, huh? Not to mention that there's gonna be a heck of a lot of uh, religious unrest, since Misor happens to uh, be uh, Islamic. And as much as I don't want to do it, I think we may have to work together with the Mughal Empire in order to get rid of the Morafa Confederacy. That is pretty much going to be our top priority. But anywho, I don't want to be rambling too long here, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and do a long campaign, hard and very hard, and let's just get the heck into it already. And here we are in the wonderful lands of Misor. Now, the one good thing about Misor is that the region itself that uh, we started... It is incredibly wealthy, and uh, that is what makes this nation somewhat good. I really cannot help myself to contain myself of how freaking exciting this is going to be. Not to mention how challenging this is going to be, because we in the Mughal Empire, we share the same unit roster. Which pretty much means that uh, if we ain't careful, the Morafas are going to be steamrolling us like they do with the Mughal Empire. But I might have an idea of uh, trying to uh, at least cripple the Morafas in a way, but I don't think it's going to be enough. We're actually going to go ahead and try to take this region away from the Morafas since it happens to be incredibly wealthy. But besides taking this... We are also going to go ahead and do a very controversial thing that is probably going to get us killed in a way. We're actually going to attack Goa. And since the Portuguese happens to be allied with Britain, they are most likely going to join in on that. But we need to be taking these two regions over here, mainly because we need to control the Morafa's naval population. This is kind of taking me back when we were playing as uh, Morocco in a way when it came to Spain. Goa is pretty much going to become this version of uh, <laughs> Gibraltar here. But this time, we are not going by a limited unit roster. And I really want to go ahead and try my best not to ramble too much here. But one thing that I can't stress enough. These three things right over here. These things are incredibly vital to our... Pretty much to our basic income. These three things alone brings so much freaking wealth to the region that uh, if the Morophos would decide to come down here and raid these two in particular, we are most definitely going to become bankrupt. And that has happened a few times to me while I was actually playtesting this nation a little bit. And the Morophos without a doubt is definitely going to go around and take this away from the Mughals, they always freaking do. But we're not going to declare war on them on this turn. We're actually going to go ahead and do it the next turn. Since the entirety, or well, at least the majority of this of the Indian subcontinent. Well, it, it's a lot of Hinduism here. And because we happen to be Islamic, there's going to be a lot of religious unrest. Which means a heck of a lot of rebellion. Then we should definitely wait when it comes to Portugal as well then. Uh, no, we're not. Since we need to control Morafa's naval population, it's better to take Goa now than later. Since I don't really want the Portuguese to get any stronger as they are here. But we're not gonna go ahead and besiege them right away. I want this army over here to attack us first. So let's go ahead and declare war on you peeps. I really hope that I'm not gonna regret this. 
And now that I think about it, we probably should try to maybe remain friendly with the Moogles. Do you want to be friends there, guys? Yes, you do. That's good, she. So we're going to be taking Goa in the next turn because I bet the Portuguese are going to be attacking us. But one thing also that I have almost forgot to mention is that we actually start with a hacking school. Oh. Now I could go ahead and actually rush some military technology because I really want to come down to this building over here. And that is to get the light infantry these Delinos. These things melt the Marafas like you don't even know. And yeah, the Marafas themselves can recruit these, so it would be best if we can get, get down there before they do. Since it's the best unit that we can have against the Marafas. But for now, I mainly want to focus on getting our economy up and uh, our agriculture up. And speaking of economy, what sort of ministers do we have here? Okay, you seem to be good when it comes to treasury. How about you? Okay, you're not too interesting. I can go ahead and place you over here. Place you over here. Anyone that we can replace in here? But yeah, we can replace you. You don't even freaking have anything. That is good for navy. You are pretty good when it comes to unrest. I kind of want to place you here. But I want to get rid of some of these candidates just so we can get some more in here. Maybe we can get some uh, somebody that's better. But that's uh, good enough here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and this so that, that the regional wealth can go up. And of course so that the lower classes can uh, pretty much grow their towns a little bit faster. And before we end our very first turn, let's go ahead and uh, put you over here just to see what sort of activity you boys are doing up there. Now I could go ahead and upgrade this, but I want to go ahead and try to have a little bit of a, of a bigger force when we're going to go ahead and try to take the, this region over here. Now I could be practical and bring uh, free Hindu musketeers, but because I play this game in a very dumbass way, let's get two of you. And since I tend to bring a joke unit every now and then, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the joke variation of the small boys. The small boys has been downgraded to a couple of bowmen. And with that, we can officially end our very first turn. Now, it's definitely going to take a while for the British to come down here. Which is probably going to buy us some valuable time. But of course, the British do have a region here in India. And oh god, Mughals are already doing badly. Ah, here we freaking go. I knew you were coming after us there, Portugal. Now, I'm gonna keep my distance when it comes to this artillery. And it's a good thing it's a fixed artillery. There is no way in hell I'm getting close to that thing. So why don't we go ahead and be a little bit cheeky and place you guys just about outside the range of those bloody cannons, huh? I think that sounds pretty darn recent there, wouldn't you say? Let's see, is everyone out of range? Yeah, I think so, but I could move you guys back just maybe just a wee bit more, perhaps? Because I, I really don't freaking trust that. Need to try to keep the general safe here. Okay, they're leaving the guns now. Now, I could go ahead and be a little bit suicidal with the general since he happens to be on a freaking elephant. But I am a bit concerned about the pikemen. I don't really know if the pikemen are really good against elephants. But the weird thing here is that elephants are classified as uh, cavalry units. And we know that pikemen is good against cavalry units, right? So with me and, us and my small ass brain, with the rules of the game, pikemen count uh, counters cavalry. And it doesn't matter what sort of cavalry it is, they counter the shit out of them. So I'm gonna try to keep my distance when it comes to these pikemen. And the, uh, yeah, this artillery crew is freaking dead. I don't want any Port uh, uh, Portuguese surviving this battle. Okay, nice, I got rid of that one. A pikeman is getting dangerously close there. Unless just running around over there. We can't be sneaky with the... the oh wait, oh god, you're going after the... Why are you going after the archers for? Uh, come on, Pikeman, there's a juicy, juicy uh, general over here. Don't you want to go in and poke his butt a little bit? I promise nothing bad is gonna happen there, mate. I really wish that they could just make their way over here. I want to try to be a little bit sneaky with their general over there. 
That Felicia is winded. Pikeman is active. General is fresh. I mean, I'm waiting for you to come for me here, Portugal. I am the one. I am not the one that's attacking. Just get over here with it. Where the hell did that militia go? I seriously didn't see where the hell that militia went. I'm just gonna take a guess that it's maybe around there somewhere. And I am gonna be a bit offensive with uh, our general here because it's essentially just uh, an, an elephant musket here, really. Oh, I am so freaking tempted of just uh, charging that militia, but it's not a good idea. And I don't know if this is such a good idea. Oh, General, you are in such a bad spot and I'm doing this so freaking badly. I am a wee bit rusty since I have been away for an entire month. So there's got, there are most likely going to be a lot of misplays here. Well, I expected the Portuguese to be on the on, on the offensive here, but apparently they don't wish to be that. The, oh, are you coming after us now? You dare to approach me, huh? Oh, I just don't like the look of those freaking pikemen. And I am not too keen of testing my theory here. And I think they might be rushing these guys. All right, hold up here. We need to gang up on that uh, pikemen because they're most definitely are going to mess you up. Try to be risky with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are going after the general there. I see that. Don't you think I freaking see that, there, good sir? You are not touching the tusk of these elephants, my dear sir. You got to winning slightly, but you're losing a lot of numbers. So the pikeman is definitely going to mess you up. And please get, get there before the militia shoots. Okay, you're doing well there. But I don't think it's going to be enough to make them rout. Just keep at it there, boys. Keep at it. And holy crap, the pikeman really did a good number on you guys. These guys might have high morale, but their defense is absolutely horrible. But they're about to rout us, that's good. You guys are doing well here as well. Oh, what the hell is happening over here? Steady, active... I think you guys should be fine. All right, go ahead and run down these Portuguese. Yeah, you guys are doing well over here. You even shooting arrows at them. Good work there, boys. Good work. We could maybe be a little bit offensive with their general here, with our own here. I think the elephants can take on a, a like regular, regular horse cavalry. I think it should be fine. And this militia really likes fighting, apparently. I wonder if this general over here has some sort of morale boost of some kind. Probably most likely, and I think that Pinkman is about guns and no need to be bullying him anymore. God damn it, can this freaking militia just get the heck out of here already? I do want you guys to still be in tip-top shape here when we get rid of this general over here. Because when I say that I don't want any of you guys surviving, then I hecking mean it. There we go, there goes the militia. Go ahead and run him down. Wonder if we can try to maybe gang up on him with our melee delilinos. But I don't know if that's such a good idea. Both of you guys are winded. We'll go ahead and kill a few more. Then you can come back with this general over here. You guys are about in range to start shooting him. He seems to be running an old run over here. Let's see if we can try to gang up on him with our Melodorilinos. But it would be lovely if you guys didn't take too much casualties here since we, we still need to deal with the citizenry of uh, Goa here. Okay, go ahead and try to keep him, keep him busy. They're probably gonna get slaughtered if I ain't careful. Oh, yeah, of course you guys are winning slightly. Enemy general kill. Good work, the boys. Now, let's go ahead and bully the crap out of him. I know this this weird-ass thing that even though the general gets killed, the unit itself sometimes just survives. And I don't know... I really don't know why it does that sometimes. I'm just gonna go ahead and cross my finger that uh, this was this for this entire Portuguese army over here. They didn't suffer too many casualties, which is good. And there we go, Portuguese are dead, so. Alright, start of the next turn here. 
You guys are gonna be good enough to take this, but before we go, small boys, this is gonna be the most sorriest looks of you, since this is one of the one of the worst units in the Empire, I must say. But I don't hecking care. You're gonna be this for the entirety of this hecking campaign. Now let's go ahead and take this away from the Marathas. Oh, they got France and Sweden as an ally. I do want the Swedes to join in though, since the French also has a colony over here. And you know, once this region over here has calmed down, we can just move our way up here, take this, and then take that. So you know what? Fine. Yeah, France and Sweden even join in on that. The Mount Surrender, that's good shit. Now we go over here and take this. Thank you very much for that, good sirs. And I think we just might as well try to maybe prepare an army tr to try to take this away from the Marathas. You are not allowed to have any big cities there, good sir. Now, we do have two trading ports. However, I am going to be destroying this one and convert it into a shipyard instead. And it's mainly because this one is very poor. This one is prosperous. This one gives more regional wealth than whatever the heck this will. And I am also going to destroy this one and turn it into a religious building instead. We need people to convert these people. But I would be lying if I didn't say that I am a little bit concerned that the Marathas are going to be going around here and pretty much destroying this. I mean, I bet that they hecking will do that. But we have to wait two turns in order for, in order for to even get freaking cavalry in here. So hopefully they're not going to be steamrolling the heck out of us here. And before I freaking forget, go out, uh, the monster and the... No, well hecking fine then. I'm just going to slaughter every single one of you then. Oh, why did it have to be a nighttime battle? There's one thing I would like to try is to maybe try to maybe disable the nighttime battles here because it is a little bit hard to see. And I know that there was someone that was complaining a little bit about the nighttime battles when we were playing as Morocco. I mean, I don't really know if you can really disable the nighttime battles in this mod. I really don't know. And I think we can actually be a little bit reckless with our general here. Let's go ahead and see if we can test our theory about uh, the pikemen here being strong against the elephants here. I mean, elephants have really thick skins. So I don't know if a actual pike can really, you know, do any real damage. Okay, so the general is just chillaxing over there. I could send the Melodorilinos to deal with that. Uh, it's just a militia after all. I don't know if it's such a good idea to charge them, uh, but you know what? Heck it! If you're gonna YOLO, then you're gonna YOLO in style! But you're gonna focus on, or you're definitely focused on the general. Where the hell did those pikemen go? There you are! You're right there! Oh, I really hope this is not gonna end badly! No, I think it's fine! The, the, oh, the, oh, oh, the, oh, those guys are dead! Oh my, oh, holy crap! <laughs> Oh, that was a nasty charge. And the bish bash bush, you guys are dead so there. And you know, oh god damn it, yeah, they're actually going after the general here. Uh, yeah, you know what? I actually don't want to risk it now, because I don't feel like it. I think, I don't know if that was from the horse archer, but we already lost a freaking elephant. And I think you are just gonna stay there, so you guys can just make your way over there then. And for people that are not familiar with the Minor Faction Revenge mod, which is the one that I'm running right now, the European faction does get other types of citizenry in here. And that is pretty much just citizenry militia. And a pretty much a weaker variation of the pikemen, which is this one right here. It's the same unit, it just have some lower stats and uh, lesser men. And there's another thing that this mod changes in a bit, because since it's called the Minor Faction Revenge mod, it boosts the crap out of the Minor Factions. Hicking duh! I mean, it's called the Minor Faction Revenge mod after all. But there's one other thing that changes uh, the game in one way, but I don't wish to spoil it yet. For anyone that saw the Moroccan or any other of my Empire playthroughs, then you might know what I'm going at here. But let's go ahead and try to deal with this freaking militia over here and just take Goa here. You know what? Heck this. Let's go ahead and be a little bit ballsy here. 
I think that the, the, the elephant can survive a couple of shots in the hotel org. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. That was probably a dumb idea. Oh, fuck. I think they're fine. They're fine. Oh, God. I thought for a second, a second they were going to shoot the crap out of the general. I don't know why you're steady for. And, oh, God. There, I think there's going to be some friendly casualties happening here. Oh, fucking Christ. And I got them stick. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. General. Okay, stop. Stop. Just stop. It was very close to be able to lost the general there because of recklessness. And it's fine. He survived. And now that we have taken Goa, we can actually go ahead and start trading. And I would say that, but I have come to discover one thing. Every time when I try to trade with someone, uh, they don't freaking accept it. I mean, look, we're gonna go ahead and go through all of these guys. And they are not gonna accept this. Just go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, I'm surprised that you know what doesn't want to trade with us. They love trading. Knights? No, they don't like us. Ottomans? No, no, no. We're just a freaking plague or something. Persia? No. Well, heck you too then, dude. Not even you guys. Like, trust me. I'm gonna go through this entire list of all the major and all the minor ones. I mean, look. Not even Venice one. I'm not gonna trade with the Barbary. That's for sure. Just look. Nobody wants to trade with us. No one. Oh wait, never mind. New Spain actually wants to trade with us. Uh, you know, I would actually accept it. But we don't have any fleets ready yet. Uh, I guess we need to take this army over here to destroy that port over there. But you know what? I'll take that. I can sacrifice my money for that. Huh, that was a bit surprising since... Uh, when I was uh, playtesting this, uh, nobody wanted to trade with us. Not a single one. Before I forget, let's go ahead and destroy this. And you guys are going to be incredibly pissy. And I hope that the Marafas are going to give us some sort of breathing room here. And I think with that, we can actually go ahead and end this very first episode here. This is a fairly decent start. But oh boy, we have an entire journey ahead of us. We are far from finished here. But anywho, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm the small GT, signing off.